Peg, your last word? Is there nothing you want to say? No, I want you to make up your own mind or see that I'm right. Aren't you always right, Belle? Ben, dear, such remarks are uncalled for. You know, I I've wanted to specialize all my life. Yesterday, your father proposes that I open a new office in a suitable neighborhood. He offers to bear all the expenses, new, new uh, equipment, and, and all that. I mean, <laughs> look at this outfit. It's about a dentist during the 30s, during the Depression, who's, uh, interestingly enough, was raised in an orphanage and is married to a very, I hesitate to say shrewish wife, because she isn't. She's written like a shrewish wife, and she isn't. She just happens to be a woman who is not loved and uh, doesn't quite know how to deal with that. And into his life comes this enchanting little creature named Cleo, who comes as his secretary assistant in the dentist office. I come from a well-to-do family. Oh, how well-to-do. I really don't need this job. Nevertheless, as long as you have the job, you should wear stockings in the office. Yes. Yes. It looks sloppy, and it makes a very bad impression on the patients. Cleo Singer. Her name says it all. It's a combination of Cleopatra and the tap dance kid. She's like, uh, completely uh, very New York kind of pop Broadway jazz baby. And uh, she's just in love with life. And um, it's just finding her, her place in it, just kind of wanting to gain all the experience she can. And her, that's her life's goal, really, to be a whole human being. I say that in the play, to be a real human being. If nobody cares for me, I don't care for them. Fair enough. I thought that was done with a nice man when I first came here, but his wife, she just wrapped him around a little finger like a spit girl. Correct, and any woman could do the same. He stands there like a shepherd dog and she tells him what to do. Correct. He's afraid of his own shadow. Correct. You can't get in my good graces by agreeing with everything I say. <laughs> <laughs> I see right through you, Mr. Prince, like cellophane. And when you look through the cellophane, what do you see? Never mind. How dare you say I have no opinion? Did I say that? You insinuated that I was stupid! I like work doing pieces with style, and I like language a lot. I like poetry and rhythm. I like that when it's in the, in the words. I mean, it's still natural and it's still very human, but it gives something heightened to it that I, I enjoy playing. It was a lovely play to watch. And whatever Joanne Woodward did, she done good. I only know what I do, and what I do is try to be, for want of a better word, a loving mother <laughs> to say, I will protect you, I will keep you warm, I will feed you, I will nurture you, you do your work. Pardon me, did I tell you before your wife expects you home at seven? Yes. She told me, yes, thanks. You're welcome, Dr. Oh. Dark. 